Last time on My Cody Report. We all work at Cody Corp, the company that produces YouTube star Cody. Cody is for sure dead, but not his soul, though. Ew! Kid soul in the Culligan. Kid soul in the Culligan. We're done drinking this water. No! Hey, Cody, Cody Report. in time. What up, Shizua? I am conflicted, bro. Why? I'm parched as a dang... What's something that was gonna get parched? I was gonna say camel, but they are known they, for not getting they're parched. They're never parched. Yeah, I'm parched. Uh, very parched. Frog on a hot day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> parched as a frog on a hot day. Oh, boy. Brother, I am parched as a frog on a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... This is Cody, right? I was not sure if I was Mr. Rumble. <laughs> I'm pretty sure last time we checked, right? Yeah, I've been putting off drinking it, but boy, I'm parched! Oh my god. I want someone to save me from this thirst. Save me from this Eve. desert. It's the New Year's Eve night. Come on, drink it oh, up. Yes. Drink it I'm up, boys. Drink mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Drink mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Drink them. Mm -hmm. What the f is that? That's f gross. Mm. I fucking hate that. We're almost into 2016. It's like 10 minutes away. Holy shit. What, what was like your favorite gameplay you experienced in 2015? Can we talk about that? Man. <sighs> I, I gotta say Metal Gear Solid 5, man. 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 <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5's gameplay may not only be regarded as best of the year, but as a new capstone for the third-person shooter genre in whole. To say the game's polished is an understatement. It's more like when SpongeBob scrubs through to the gleaming chrome layer that apparently is infused with the entirety of his house. F***ing chrome fruits and toilet paper, even. <laughs> no wonder dude's a sponge. <laughs> it's not good for your body, dude! Breeding everything we already love about the genre with its own population of new systems, there is more fun per capita here than Toontown. <laughs> As one of the most intuitive games to date, it nearly breaks the fourth wall with the amount of real world knowledge that may be applied to scenarios. Even on a molecular scale, the game just feels damn near perfect. No awkward Y or X axis movements and realistic body reactions to button inputs allows you to execute plans and strategies with little to no fumbling of the controller. Like Adrian P P P Peterson on the football field. <laughs> I'm right. He dropped that ball and the other team picked it up. What a stupid ass f***ing fathead. <laughs> That's all I have. Mm -hmm. At the start, when you're crawling through the through the hospital, yeah. that's me before I have my coffee. Oh, and then the guys are running around fast. <laughs> that's me after I have it. <laughs> yo, yo, when those guys are running fast. Bay text me. And parents aren't home. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pizza rolls are done. Let's be running downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it hurt to be alive? <laughs> Shizuo. Story. <laughs> Beginner's Guide had the absolute best story of the year, in my opinion. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a game about exploring a fictional game dev hobbyist's career through his works. As much as the game is an exploration of what it means to be creative, it is also bursting with originality, and that makes the act of exploring each unfinished project a unique, memorable experience, in my opinion. The game's voice acting may be less than fantastic, in my opinion, but the core story told, in my opinion, was one of the most profound, in my opinion, relatable, in my opinion, and mature stories in recent years, in my opinion opinion, in games or otherwise. It's a truly remarkable 90 minute experience and I would recommend it to anyone. Oh shit, I forgot to say in my opinion that time. F please, god no. I want to contact the guy who made Beginner's Guide and have him make a, make a little thing about me. 
Fine, oh, right? Yeah, Combine yeah. all my past half finished projects. <laughs> well, you, like what? You've got like a like Pokemon Red in there, and you're just like, see, Leo was really good at this. He almost beat it the whole thing. <laughs> it doesn't even have to just be games, right? Any half finished project. Yeah, do. sure. It's like a that bowl of wonton soup I had the other day. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's. Throw it in the game. Throw it in the game. Ship it. These Leo, this Leo was really conflicted <laughs> when he was eating this bowl of wonton soup. <laughs> if you drink your little vial that's this big that we sent out to everyone, taste it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vial of wonton soup. <laughs> Kagame. Aesthetics. Bloodborne has a gothic Victorian setting, but like with transforming weapons that break down and reform. Like our frickin' healthcare! <laughs> the biggest knock against this game's aesthetics is that it veers a little too close to steampunk for my taste. The enemies in the first area basically have top hats with goggles on them. You're locked out of everyone's homes while loonies roam the street, and when you knock on someone's door they just laugh and scream at you. <coughs> After this opening area, which looks a little samey, the game opens up to some beautiful locales, which reveals even more beautiful monsters. The boss design went unparalleled this year, and it's all wrapped up in an oppressive atmosphere that we come to expect from the Soul series. I feel like Bloodborne is like overwhelmingly like goth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like me. What you yeah, like, like straight hot topic, dude. Like when you see the main character running, you can see like his wallet chain. Like, <laughs> 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 And you know where he's running that whole time? Hot, Hot topic. topic. Deals. What about... Wow, 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 bad country. Remember that about <laughs> some <film? laughs> Kids love that from Hot Topic days. <laughs> that guy started working on a game. The lead singer from Avengers. Yeah, Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bloodborne. Yeah. What if... Instead of us all picking a game of the year, because we're at each other's throats all the time, yep. we would not be able to agree on something. We'd be dead on the f floor when the janitor comes in on Monday. Mopping up blood again. Yeah, I'll say, oh, they've finally offed each other. What if we rate the whole year? Oh, all right, right yeah. That. I give it a 2015 minus 2003, 9. 2015 minus 2004, 9. 2006. 9. I give it a 9. I'm gonna have to agree with that kind of string of logic. Yeah, I was gonna do the same equation. It's the logic that makes you agree, isn't it? You can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah minus the last year that was even better than this, 2006, Dawn of the Xbox 360. Yes, yes, that's right. Everyone remembers that as uh, the last true Christmas. Yes, yes, also known <laughs> yeah, as the yeah. last true Christmas. Yeah. Everyone calls it the last true Christmas. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah, so nine. So nine it nine. is. Yeah, nine. nine, what nine. a great year it was. 15, cotton, nine, nine out of ten, but wait a minute, what the... This year's almost over, though. We're right oh, down to the wire. Look. Oh, my gosh. 11, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, oh, oh shit. Just missed them. I thought these were the coordinates. Is that... Is that us? Call Call you your heart. Joe, hey. Yo. I called you Joe. Happy New Year, dude. It's cool they call you Joe? It's cool, man. <laughs> like, whatever. F*** it. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares, man? Who cares, dude? It's a new year. New name, bitch.